Hey team, so far with squid we've looked at uh, what you might take out if you, if you go out for an evening's fish and we've also talked about the uh, black magic uh, squid snatches and uh, the key points to, to an actual squid chick. I thought today I might talk to you a little bit about size and colour. There's a few different colours to choose from. Now the interesting thing is with squid, they see colours a little bit differently to how people see them. Squid tend to see colour more in uh, shade. It's interesting because over the 14 seasons that I've been squid fishing or whatever, I have I've found that squid will break all of the, the rules and they'll take jigs of different colours that they shouldn't be taking at that stage of the day. But as a general rule, what I would say to you, especially if you're going to spend some money on some um, decent jigs, firstly, every squid jig has what we call an outer cloth, which is on the outer here, and then it has an inner foil colour. There's five major foil colours to consider. This one here is a silver foil. This one here is a gold foil. This one here is a red foil. There's also a clear foil and a rainbow foil as well too. As well as your glow jigs, which don't have foil so much. They just, the outer um, cloths just glow up. So you have all of these uh, different foils, and so with these different foils, they should be used at various times of the day. So for example, the silver foil jig, very, very good with high sun. Um, so noon, your noon type jig. Gold foil, very good in the morning or in the late afternoon. And then your red foils, very good at night time. As are, obviously, the, the, the jigs that we can glow up as well too. Uh, they tend to be used at night time uh, along with um, uh, cloudy water during the day as well too. Um, and there's the rainbow foils as well, they're quite a good morning sort of a jig and the clear foils again good for the high sun. So that's something that you perhaps might, may not have known so just keep an eye out for that. Now like I say it is a general rule, do tend to find that when squid are hungry They'll eat pretty much anything. Colour, I've found, doesn't make so much difference. There are some train spotters out there that will probably argue that point, but that's what I've found over, over the years uh, doing it myself and speaking to people who are a lot better at squid fishing than myself too. The other thing that we should talk about too is the different sizes as well. So at this stage of the season, small squid around. So start off with your size 2s and 2.5s. Um, especially if you're in the shallower, shallower areas. As the season progresses right through to November, December, um, you can upsize every month or two um, because the life cycle of a squid, it's only about 12 months or whatever, as they get bigger they tend to be after bigger meals. And so at the moment smaller jigs and then work your way up as we go through the year to the big jigs. Big, big squid tend to take big jigs. They don't tend to hunt like snapper, where a big snapper will take a little bait. They see a little meal from the distance and they have a good long think about, do I like that meal? Okay, I'll go after it. And if it's a decent size, I'll go in. So uh, yeah, there's some thoughts on colour for you as well. Hope you found it useful.